Trucks are a critical asset to any mining operation. They serve to transport minerals and materials from the excavation site to a downstream processing facility. And often this transport occurs under harsh conditions that they negatively impact asset life, requiring frequent maintenance activities. Historically, many companies have used a periodic maintenance approach, scheduling different assets for maintenance arbitrarily based on their position in some rotation. But using Seek's Workbench Advanced Analytics application offers an improved approach. This analysis begins with the display of various critical signals. These signals were added to the screen from Seek Data tab by navigating to the mining company asset tree, the truck fleet asset, and then finding the asset of focus. In this case, truck one. We'll look at a single asset for now, and then at the end of the analysis, show how this can quickly be scaled to an entire fleet of truck assets. Once the data is loaded on the screen, the first step is to identify each of the truck runs, when the truck is traveling from the base of the mine to the top of the hill. For this, the altitude signal that you see at the top of the screen is used. We can use Seek's value search tool to identify when the altitude signal is greater than a threshold. In this example, 5, for some set amount of time. Here the options to ignore short capsules and gaps are chosen to ensure a true detection of a truck travel rather than just little blips of noise in the signal. Switching to chain view, Visible are the capsules we've created that capture the decrease in altitude at the end that corresponds to the truck returning to the bottom of the mine for the next haul. To get rid of that last segment of each of those capsules, we do so using Seek formula, eliminating the last 30 seconds of that capsule to create a capsule that does not include the final drop-off. Once we've honed in on the time periods that we want to focus on during those truck travels, it's time to take and quantify the duration of time spent going from the bottom of the mine to the top of the mine. This was done using Seek Signal from Condition Tool. After the time periods of focus are nicely identified, Capsule Time View can be used to overlay each truck trip to the top of the mine. From Capsule Time View, we can take advantage of some other options for our visualization. Right now, we're looking at the signals colored the same way they are in the Details pane. We can also incorporate coloring by capsule to where each capsule is represented as a unique color on the screen and the dimming feature can be used to focus in on specific trends. While working through this analysis, it's easy to switch between the assets that we're looking at using Seek's asset swapping functionality. By navigating back to the bottom layer of truck assets in the asset tree, it's simple to swap in truck 3 for all of the items of truck 1 that are on the screen and display the data for that asset instead. Truck 3 is having frequent maintenance problems. It's now time to use value search and composite condition to focus on the truck travel times where excessive. Here, excessive travel time is defined as the trip taking longer than 45 minutes and is displayed when looking at the truck travel time signal. This is captured in two steps. The first is by using Seek's value search tool to search against the travel time signal and identify any travel time samples that are greater than 45 minutes. Once these periods are identified, they're hard to see on the screen being instantaneous events. We can see them in the capsules pane as some of the truck trips from May 7th. Focusing in on the screen, we can verify that it looks correct and can continue to the next portion of the analysis. Capturing the full truck travel whenever it overlaps with one of these excessive travel time capsules. 
Here the composite condition tool is utilized with the touches logic to identify the full travel when it touches one of the excessive travel time capsules. Identifying an excessive travel time is just one way of identifying potential maintenance requirements for a specific truck. Another way is to monitor the different truck telemetry signals using reference profiles. Reference profiles are calculations of statistical limits on a signal based on operation during a period defined as good or ideal. In this example, we'll build a reference profile on the ground speed signal during a period of good operation. From calendar time view, it's clear that there are three events defined in the previous step as excessive travel time periods, and these three events also don't comply with the reference profile. By jumping to chain view, this is more easily seen. There are a few truck travels here where the ground speed signal complies with a very typical profile that would be expected. In excessive travel times, it appears that the gears shifted to and the order in which they are shifted do not necessarily follow that same pattern. Therefore, the ground speed is outside of the profile for the duration of that time. We can specifically identify the portions of the travel time period where the ground speed signal is outside of the profile using SEEK's deviation search tool. Deviation search allows users to search for when a signal is outside of some variable limits. Here we are searching for when the ground speed signal is not between the upper and lower standard deviation limit. This applies a similar concept by ignoring short capsules and gaps to disregard blips in the process where it went outside the limit and then quickly came back in. Looking at truck 7, it's visible that there are a few instances of excessive travel time that don't necessarily look like a normal truck trip from the bottom of the mine to the top of the mine. In here, there are various flatlining events where it appears that there's been a break in the trip. To negate these travels or exclude them from the calculations and warnings for which trucks need maintenance soon, these particular truck tips can be identified using SEEK formula. Formula and a combination of different functions are used to identify the trip that includes stoppages. Conceptually, we're looking for any time that the truck altitude signal has a rate of change near zero during a travel. In this formula, you can see the different functions that are being applied to do this. Lastly, formula can be used to find the excessive travel times that have abnormal ground speed profiles, but no stoppages. For truck 7, there are no predicted engine problem capsules here, because each of the abnormal profiles or excessive travel times occurred on one of these travel periods where flatlining altitude existed meaning there was a break taken for some reason outside of a maintenance problem. By looking at truck 3, you'll see that each of these capsules that were identified with excessive travel time is in fact a predicted engine problem, as there are no trip stoppages occurring during this time. 
It's just a longer version of the trip profile. When the analysis is completed for a single asset, it can easily be scaled out to the entire fleet of truck assets using Seek's tree map view. Users can swap back and forth between trend view and tree map view using the drop down in the top left of the display pane. From tree map view, users can get a fast overall status of each of the assets in their fleet, where an asset with a tile colored in green means that it's meeting neither the condition for excessive travel time nor predicted engine problems. The tiles shown in yellow have excessive travel times without engine problems, meaning these were the trucks that were taking breaks for whatever reason. Maybe there was a traffic jam in the mine and they were waiting for another truck to pass. The trucks that are shown in red are the trucks that are believed to actually have a maintenance problem coming up soon. From the tree map view, it's interactive and teams can click into the tile for any of their different assets to easily see the signals they've got on the screen for that asset. Users can then go back to tree map view using the drop down and investigate another asset. Thank you for watching.